With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Uh, the question says that a current of two ampere is passed for five years through a molten metal salt, uh, which deposits twenty two point two grams of metal, whose atomic weight has been given to us as one seventy seven. So we have to tell the oxidation state of the metal in the metal salt. So we have to actually calculate the oxidation state using the given data. So uh, we know that since metal has been formed, so we know that metal will be formed when basically we have an ion of let's say Mn positive, and when it gains n electrons, this will deposit metal, or from here we will get metal. So we can say that n Faraday of charge, uh, when n Faraday of charge is uh, required. To deposit one mole of metal, so let me write this in statement. I can say that uh, n Faraday charge is required to deposit one mole of metal. One mole of metal. So let us calculate how this n, how much this n Faraday will uh, will be using the information given. So we will add the formula to calculate the charges. Let me write formula to calculate the charges. Q is equals to I into T. This is the very basic formula of physics. We have studied this in uh, our lower standards. So we have been given the value of current and we have been given the time. So let me substitute it. So we get two into five hours. And if I con convert this five into seconds, I get 60 into 60. So on solving this, we get 36,000 coulomb of charge. So I can write that this n Faraday is nothing but this is thirty-six thousand coulomb of charge. So we can use unitary method over here. We know that n Faraday of charge is giving one mole of metal. Uh, so Thirty-six uh, thousand coulomb of charge will give me one mole upon n n Faraday into thirty-six thousand. Uh, so one mole uh, is actually equal to the atomic atomic weight of the metal, which also has been given to us as one seventy-seven. So let me write this will be one seventy-seven grams. So I can re rewrite this as one seventy-seven upon Nf into thirty-six thousand coulomb. So this is a uh, basic lesson thirty-six thousand coulomb. So this is very basic method about mathematics that I have used for so so far. Now we have to calculate the value of n because uh, from that we can calculate uh, the oxidation state on the metal. So for that, uh, in the question itself, we have been given that this particular charge is nothing but it is equal to the uh, let me write it, it is equal to The salt deposit uh, is twenty two point two grams, so it is equal to the twenty two point two grams of uh, dip salt deposit on the metal. So I can rewrite this as. Let me write. I can write this as one seventy seven upon N F into thirty six thousand coulomb is equal to twenty two point two grams. Of metal, because this much amount is in deposit. So this is what I can write now. From here, I can easily find the value of n. So n will be equal to one seventy seven into thirty six thousand upon f, which is Faraday's. We know that its value is nine six five zero zero. Multiplied by twenty-two point two. So on solving this, we get the value of n to be equal to two point nine seven, or I can round off this value to three. So from here, we can say that the metal is present at the oxidation state of three. So I can say that option C is the correct answer. So with this, we complete the entire solution. Thank you. For class six to twelve, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.